Hello Golf Pass, Martin Hall coming to you with what I think is a superb piece of information. Okay, people say to me, you know, I'd love to be able to draw or fade the ball, particularly fade the ball, but I don't want to change my swing, can you help me? So glad you asked, because yes, I can. There is a way using technology that you can understand how to fade the ball, and on another tip we'll talk draw, but fade the ball without really changing your golf swing very much. Now look, let's be very clear about this. If I'm going to fade the ball to my target, the path of the swing has to be to the left of the target. And at the moment I'm sort of hitting, collecting, striking the ball, the face has got to be a bit open. How can we do that? Well, with the aid of technology, we can do it without changing your swing very much. Uh, certainly, let me say right out of the gate, if I'm going to fade the ball and I want to start it left, rule number one! Aim a bit to the left, definitely aim to the left, so that will give you your path across the swing. But where do you find that open face from? If you had a feeling of a bit slower going back than normal and a bit quicker coming down, slow to quick, a bit like Colin Morikawa, it's very easy to just delay the toe of the club and get the fade. Now I'm using an incredible piece of technology here, it's called D-Wiz. It's connected to an iPad there. It measures at a level that's, well, really hard to believe, I'd have to say. And you can say to yourself, take it back slow and bring it through quicker. Maybe, maybe, maybe you could do that. Maybe you could be slow, go. You could be, but technology is your friend. So I've got this device here that's going to tell me what my tempo is going back, what my swing speed is going back. And I don't want a three to one ratio here. I want to be slower going back, quicker going through. And let me see what my piece of science is going to tell me here. I'll just let it settle down. Here we go, slow, quick. And that's a lovely fade, beautiful fade. And the tempo that gives me is 3.4 to 1. Now what I've found is 3.0 is pretty straight. 3.4 to 1 tells me I took longer than normal on my backswing and came down quicker. A great way to keep the ball from hooking. A great way to keep the heel of the club leading a bit longer, as a great Jack Nicklaus once told me. So if you want to use technology d -Wiz, I thoroughly recommend it. It'll teach you things that video can't show you, that a teacher can't tell you, but it will help you learn very fast. Feedback fuels fast learning. That's what I would say. Feedback fuels fast learning. Get the DeWiz, get feedback, go slow, quick, and you'll learn to fade it like Colin Morikawa, maybe.